Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video. We're going to do a fast update on a lot of things that's going on. Make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. Uh, I would do some more in depth on this stuff that's going on, but literally my computer, I'm trying to get the other computer hooked up, and so I've got it taken apart. So, so far I'm having no luck trying to get a monitor to work on this thing. So evidently I'm going to have to wait for the new monitor and put my old one back together because it's not working out very well. And I'm very good with computers, so that's not the problem. Just cannot seem to get it right. I don't know what it is. Hopefully the thing works and I don't have no issues with it because I can do a lot more with the new computer. Uh, it's faster and it has better sound. The other one was very, it's going on, well, it's, it's quite old. <laughs> so I've had it for a while and I've used the, the tar out of it. I mean, it's definitely, definitely ha uh, had the hours and it needs, I needed a new one. Uh, I was talking to Ken Fisher earlier and uh we was discussing what we think could happen at this nato meeting and we was discussing things about it and she got the word brokerage and automatically when she got brokerage i got new york and wall street then she said blackstone and i got black rock and we come to find out when we looked them up they're both was the same company and they separated from each other but that's what we was discussing when we was talking about what's going to happen at this NATO meeting with whatever they're doing that's going to mess everything up. That that is who is involved in all this. So there's something to think about. Uh, a lot of people, like I said, we had a bunch of people making fun of the two dreams I had. That's fine. That people can scoff, laugh. It don't matter. And But they're going to find out very soon. Very, very soon. That it was God is warning us, people. You can try to we try to tell people over and over. We're not trying to mislead people. We're trying to tell. I've done this for a long time. I know my dreams versus the other dreams. I know the difference. He's letting us know that something is going to go very badly at this NATO, and something before it, even. And that leads to the rapture. But these people won't give up this world, and they're going to make fun of everything. But they're going to find out very soon, just like the people did right before. The world was destroyed the first time. But, you know, you're ready. People that, that go to church, the people that are saved, that believe in Jesus, God's sheep, they're ready to go. So don't worry about that. And like I said, just keep praying for the lost and get as many of them on the ark as possible. Today, Joe Biden basically made a threat towards Israel. That's another sign that we're getting ready to get out of here. Israel was not very happy with it. And they basically tell him to stick his nose in his own business and run his own country. But Joe Biden does not like Israel. And he wants to see them fall. There is a lot of rumors that the United States is funding weapons over into Palestinian, over on the Jordan side. And they're making their way into Israel. And Israel knows this. There's a lot of talk about that through chatter of a lot of these places that I follow with Israel. And Israel's getting very aggravated with it. But Joe Biden has already decided... He's not going to back Israel, and he's not. The United States is not backing Israel anymore. They're trying to tell them how to run their country, how to separate their country into two parts, and that's exactly straight out of the Bible. They'll try to divide Israel, and the United States is one of them trying to divide that country. God's not going to let that happen. Now, when this, all this stuff comes out, then all of a sudden there is a Bible plague coming happening right on the West Coast. A swarm of locusts, grasshoppers can be seen from space and they're eating everything after Joe Biden made his announcement this morning. Go figure. God is speaking. He's warning. Now these locusts or grasshoppers, they, there are so many of them. You can see them. There looks like a, a storm coming and they're eating everything in their path. That's your wheat, your corn, all that. They're eating everything in sight on the West Coast. They came out of nowhere. Sound familiar? We've warned and we've warned people won't listen. We have told you that we're getting ready to leave. They won't listen. We're not doing this for entertainment. You scoffers, you're going to find out very soon. And you're going to say, oh my goodness, they was right. 
It wasn't just a dream. It wasn't just this. It wasn't just that. You don't think that the Lord knows that we have these channels and we're trying to warn people and get people saved? That's why he's given us what he gives us. Because he knows in our heart we're trying to get people saved. You're not. You're on here to make fun of God's people and you're going to pay for it. Severely. Very soon. I'm not talking a month from now either. Judgment's coming. It's coming fast. You that are God's sheep, you're ready to get out of here. You have nothing to worry about. That's why we're telling you, you're running out of time. With everything that's going on, and like we remember in the dream, I said one to five days, that these things are going to happen. That's going to lead up to all this. Ukraine came out once again today. Now they're giving blueprints of how Russia is going to blow up the plant. They're not going to drop this, people. They're going to end up taking it out. And that is another reason that we'll start World War III. They've already made up their mind Russia's going to fall or else. We've been seeing bear, bear, bear for a month. From Jasmine to me to many others that's even in the comments have been seeing the bear, including Kim Fisher including Gigi. It goes on and on, including Gator 1111. We've all had dreams that tie to this. He's been using multiple channels to warn you that these events are coming to pass. Understand that we're running out of time. We're trying to help you people. A lot of them won't hear it, but they're about to see it. See, they think that they're safe here in America. Everything's just going to be all hunky-dory. I have nothing to worry about. But they're, they're about to find out their safety is about to run out real quick. But the stuff that's happening in the sky, above your head, the surveys, people laugh that off. That's not normal. See, we study this stuff. We do it every day. We pull eight or nine hours a day. You people, you scoffers, you get on here 20 minutes a day, make fun of God's people, then get off and do nothing. That's the difference. That's why we're getting messages and we're getting warnings and you're not. But you keep making fun, and you're going to find out exactly what the people did when they got on the ark, and that door shut. Because this time it's going to be fire. It's coming, people. Understand me. Listen to me. I trust Jesus. Something very bad is about to happen at that NATO meeting. I don't know what it is. But whatever it is sets all this stuff up to unfold that we've been telling you for months. It's coming. I trust Jesus. If he's warning us that these events are going to come to pass, they will come to pass. That nuclear plant will fall. Russia will be pulled into a fight with NATO, and which will turn nuclear. A friend of this country that we think of will join that fight against us. It will come to pass. This nation is not a friend, but we treat them as a friend, but they're not. They're our enemy. They will join the fight. It will all happen very quickly. Me and Kim Fisher have talked about the blast that we saw that took all the electricity out. We've all, we've, ha we've all had our different opinions. Maybe it's the rapture. It's very possible. Or it's a solar blast from the sun. A huge one. It's very possible right before the rapture. The reason we say that, I did some research about my dream, about the planes falling, and everything else. Now, the plane that fell, I saw it very vividly, but when I looked it up, these planes are protected from EMP burst. But if there was a large enough solar flare that hit the Earth, even they wouldn't be protected. But Nuclear weapons would not be strong enough to take the planes out, but a solar flare would. Kim Fisher saw a bright light. She didn't know what it was. And what I think she saw was a flash from the sun because the sun was so bright when it was coming. So I think she got to see a big solar flare too. That means this solar flare could be on its way here. Like I tell you, not to fear, but that might be one of our signs. And remember, I saw the other day I heard it comes from the sky. 
to be aware of it comes from the something's going to come from the sky. Don't know what it is. But, you know, the Lord's warning us that these events are going to come to pass. That's why I tell you, we're, we're so close to being out of here. Just, you know, hold on. Hold on another day. I know that a lot of you are sick and conflicted, but we are close. I trust what the Lord was telling me. that something really bad is going to go wrong this week that's going to set everything up for this world and the rapture to happen. So we're just going to stay vigilant and we're going to be watching that's what we do we're not here to mislead you we're here to watch for signs and get you ready and get the loss on the boat that's what we do you know people can bash me and hate me all they want i still love them and i don't want to see them left here i love each and every one of you keep bonnie mccoy in your prayer she's having a rough time she's still sick keep her in your prayers okay she's been really struggling she's been asking everybody for prayers so I love each and every one of you. We're almost out of here. We're going home soon. If I don't hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven.